Good morning, everybody. I'm not exactly sure how well you guys can see us. Jacob and I are back with another banger. We are out here in Melbourne and we are out on the water. I believe it's some sometime around 6, 620. The plans are for today, we're throwing the NLBN little mullet and the NLBN three inch swim bait like usual. We're pitching them up under some mangroves, looking for some big snook. Hopefully we can get on some 20 inchers, maybe, maybe get lucky and get a 30 incher. It's been, a, it's been a while since me and Jacob have gotten on some big fish, so that's the plan for today. It's early, there's bait blowing up around us. We're gonna get after it. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the content, please do hit the like button. It really does help me out a lot, but I really hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. This is what we're gonna start off throwing. Smoky color of the five inch little mullet. I have a Phoenix custom rod, a 7.8, paired up with a 3500 battalion or battle. There's bait blowing up all around us. We're just gonna work this little mullet just for a little bit. Just flipping these mangroves, see if we can find anything. Just had a massive fall up. I missed it though. I don't know what it quite was. It was my first blow up on a little five inch mullet. Looks like he just grabbed the tail. See if we can pin one. Oh my! I still don't know exactly what is blowing up, but I'm just skipping on the surface. There's these tiny schools of mullet spread out around here, and they keep getting blown up on by something. Monster trout, monster trout, giant trout, giant, 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 giant. Big trout. Oh, he's solid hooked. God damn. Oh. All right, good morning, guys. We're gonna try to be quick here. You guys are pretty delicate. Oh, go on. Work with me, work with me. Try to wet the hands. Alrighty. Right on there in that smoked mullet. I believe that's the color. A nice size trout. I don't know the exact size. They're pretty delicate, so I don't want to keep her out of the water too long, but a beautiful first fish. Definitely my, I think my biggest trout. Super healthy. Super fat. Let's get her back. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rig up another little mullet because that trout destroyed it. If you're not familiar how to rig these guys, I believe this is a, uh, a 50. I don't know the exact name on the hook. I don't want to get it wrong, but you can get them from the NLBN website but they're just twist lock hooks. Before I go into the wind, see how well I can do this. I'm not the best at these at all, as you can see. Not centered at all. Gets the job done. See if we can get another fish. So like I said, we're, we're seeing those schools of mullet get blown up on as we're working down this mangrove shoreline and i believe that is what's blowing up on them probably just some bigger sized trout that was probably the third fish to follow up on the little mullet first one to fully commit i think the first two grabbed the tail basically just ripped the tail off that was a good sized trout always fun catching those guys i'm gonna pick up the three inch swim bait just for a second Can 
Come here, little guy. Oh, you can, you can hear his teeth fraying. We only we have 30 pound leader on this setup, so we should be fine. There we go. First snook of the day. Oof, inhaled the inner being. Tiny snook, tiny snook. Got a pot of dolphins right there, but we'll go ahead and let this little guy go one last look. There she goes. Well, that was only about, I would say less than 10 casts in with this three inch swim bait. So I'm not sure if I should switch it up or not. I would like to catch more snooks, so I may switch it up, but I also want to catch a fish on the little mullet. But I think I've already done that. So for now, I think I'm just gonna retie because that little guy afraid me up quite a bit. And I'm gonna keep throwing this three inch swim bait. So let's get back to it. All right, we are retied. And this setup is a, I believe a 4,000? Yeah, 4,000 battalion custom eight foot rod. It's a heavy action rod. Another one. Same spot. Oh, the dolphin's coming for me. It's a better size snook. I don't want that dolphin to get him though. Come here, buddy. <sighs> dolphin wants him. It's a much better size snook. I'm glad I made the change. Still got some energy in him. It's a feisty little guy. Not a bad snook at all. Right there at the corner of the lip. Three inch nibbling. Let's go and get that back in the water. But again, beautiful, pretty snook. I'm going to, no, don't buddy, don't. This dolphin knows I have a fish. So we're gonna go tuck back up into these mangroves and we're gonna let this guy go. Dolphin have a tendency to chase the fish as soon as you let him go. So we'll get tucked right up in the mangroves and we'll let this fish go. Here she goes. I was probably like a 20 inch, maybe a little bit 22 inch snook. Not exactly sure, not too good with the measurements. Definitely a good sized fish, no fray at all. So that was a good one. Let's get after it. <laughs> Where? Something. Said something. Ladyfish. <sighs> nice size trout. Come here, big guy. <sighs> Good size trout right there. There she goes. Some moving water right here. So I'm gonna cast this paddle tail and just let it sink. 
See if there's anything down there. Little tiny snook right there. Right in front of this moving water. Sorry about the squeaky reel, by the way. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch it up a little bit. I see a lot of stuff blowing up on the surface and the sun is up quite a bit. So we're gonna pull the little mullet back out. Here we go. It's all good, all good. A fish is a fish, dog. Bro, it's, fish than what it's a good size. Whoa! <laughs> Can't control him. Look at that monster. Massive. Right there in this little hole. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but he saw this little hole and came up and cast yeah, on it. To, he wants to go. I'm Let him go, boy. Be free, little sneaky. Come on, 40. Come on, 40. I saw him popping right here in the corner, and I just decided to throw in on the, with a little lobster. And Catch him on. Let me see real quick. A little go, gulp, go shrimp. Heck yeah. Bro, how many snook have you caught? How many fish have you caught? Four or five? Oh! I think they were tarpon. I think they were tarpon. There was a school of them. Blew up on the little mullet, bro. I scared three. There was already a, there was already so many of them right here. <laughs> Heck yeah, brother. Nice little snooky right there. Oh, there's still in front of you, in front of you, in front of you. Tiny, Jay, tiny, so tiny. Oh, he's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Somebody, he was on it, he was on it. He was on it. It was a baby snook. He was on it. Holy shit! Yo! Jay, the giant, Jay, the giant, the giant! Oh my goodness, Jacob! Let it fight, just let it fight. Jacob's on a massive tarpon. Yep, it's perfect drag, bro. Jacob is on a good sized tarpon. The tarpon, Jay, right? Yep, yes, sir. It's gonna jump again. You're doing so good, bro. I'm sorry, back off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yep. Doing so good, bro.
You want to net them? Yeah, I, I do want to net them or, or, or something. Yeah, I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Yep, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get my shit figured out. Yeah, you better be. That's fine. Do you want to put it up? You're chilling. Just keep her pulled down a little bit. Keep her pulled down. Not so high. Try not to reel. Not try not to get too. Oh, I have that line out. That's... Oh, you're good. You're good. Bring them up if you can. Oh my gosh, bro. That's the biggest tarpon ever. I mean, that's the biggest tarpon I've ever hooked. Just, you're fine. You're fine. If you can grab his lip. Now yeah, chill, just chill, chill. You're good. Yeah, I'll come next to you. Chill, 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 chill. Don't grab it, don't grab it, don't grab it, don't grab it, don't grab it. Watch your hand, watch your hand. You're fine. I'm pulling up my propeller. You're fine, just keep him down. Put your, put your... You're good. Let him fight, let him fight. Yep, there you go. We're good, we're gonna get this fish. Let him just let him fight. This is great, bro. This is great. The longer he tires himself out, the less chance of him hurting us and hurting himself when we go to de-hook him. Alright. Bring him to me. Just like that, baby. Holy Just shit. like that, baby. Holy shit. Just like that, baby. Oh my god. I'm doing the bail. Dude. Great job, bro. Holy smokes. What'd you catch him on? The, the lobster? The lobster. You caught him on the lobster, dude? dude? Down, oh bro. my Fucking gosh, go. bro. Holy. I wish you guys could have seen the, these first couple of jumps. This, the, oh, oh, look at that. The hook, the hook just, just popped you. out. Oh. We're gonna do some pictures, bro. We're gonna we're gonna do some Fucking pictures shaking. too. All right, so let's go ahead and pull them up. He's gonna kind of shake. Use two hands. Yeah, there you go. It's your first tarpon? Yeah. First and mm -hmm. biggest tarpon. Let's go, bro. On the gulp lobster. It's a beautiful fish right there, man. What a great that's catch, so Jacob. Cool. I'm so stoked you got that, bro. That's, that's amazing. That makes this whole trip worth it, bro. Whole two-hour drive. How'd you catch him? On a gulp, gulp, uh, gulp ghost shrimp, uh, penny color, just uh, bobbing it. Came up and smacked it. All right, we'll go ahead and get some pictures and let this baby go. Get a good release on her, get a good release on her. Jay, did you see that? It was a tarpon, one just went airborne. Yeah. Well, I'm going to. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh. A little bit smaller than yours.
Yeah. Yeah. It's a little baby. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, bro. That's what I like to hear. Oh. <laughs> right at the boat. A little bit smaller size than Jacob's. Quite a bit smaller than Jacob's, but second fish. Yeah, it's still super fun. Second fish on this little, the little five inch. There's still a bunch of tarpon rolling along this shoreline right where Jacob caught his last tarpon. Um, so we're going to go back up, let the wind push us back down, and we're going to see if we can go ahead and land another tarpon. guys <clears throat> we got the big camera out for a little midday update sort of kind of close to the end of the day update it's been a super super great day so far we've caught in fish early in the morning all the way up until roughly 30 minutes ago it's been pretty slow here and there and then we'll get where we run into these spots that have a good pocket of fish and as you guys saw Jacob landed his first tarpon that's his first tarpon he's ever caught he's ever hooked first tarpon he's ever hooked and it was a good sized one. Got, got a couple good jumps in there. I hope you guys were able to see that. Like I said this morning, we're just flipping mangroves out here in Melbourne using probably my favorite artificial now is the NLBN. Both the little mullet, the five inch little mullet and the three inch paddle tail. Got my first fish, a couple snook on the white uh, three inch paddle tail. And I've missed quite a few tarpon on the five inch little mullet. Some crazy eats like right next to the kayak. We're gonna finish some sandwiches. Jacob's gonna retie, I might retie because I'm a little bit frayed up. Jacob's caught about 10 fish, I've maybe caught about five fish, so he's definitely smoking me in that aspect. Like I said, we're gonna finish up these sandwiches. We're gonna retie. Probably gonna fish our way back, maybe go a long way, work our way back to the truck, and get out of here. It's been a great day so far. Let's get after it. Grabbing a little sandwich, we saw the cauldron moving right here. So I just went ahead and threw the little NLBN white paddle tail. And I got an absolute Mondo right here. Into the mangrove she goes. It would be good. There we go. Yeah. Nice size trout right there. Go. She goes. Micro snooky all day long. We have lost count how many snook we have caught. Get out of here. Back to back, same one, just. <laughs> they're just, they're chewing right now. Absolutely chewing. Ow. Let's get them going. Look at them, so pretty. Get out of here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. It was a great day, solid day, fishing the mangroves out here in Melbourne. Caught so many fish, too many fish to count. I have no idea how many fish I caught. Jacob has no idea how many fish he caught. Of course, the best fish of the day, the biggest fish of the day, was that tarpon that Jay got. First tarpon he's ever caught, first tarpon he's ever hooked, I believe. I got a nice little 20, 25 inch snook. That was probably my biggest fish of the day, but it was a great day. We've never been to this spot, so to come out here bright and early in the morning, 
and basically just put a put a heat on them. It's a great day. Can't really beat it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, well, I'm gonna help Jacob pack up, and we're gonna get out of here. Peace.